Hi everyone, today we are going to be looking at the characters and the analysis of the characters in the beautiful ones and not yet one by Aikwe Ama. In our previous lessons, we discussed the plot of the novel. We discussed how the plot revolved around the major character called Dima, the nameless protagonist Dima and how he struggles in the post-colonial, independent, urban Ghanaian society, where he struggles to live a life of sanity, a life of integrity without being corrupt by the corruption in the society. So, we are going to look at the characters in our previous video on the themes and mention some of the characters. Today, we are going to be discussing them extensively. So, we are going to start with the character of the man. The character of the man. The man is the protagonist in the novel. He is a man of integrity. He is nameless in the novel. We are not told his name. The narrator only refers to him as the man. So, he lives a life, he works with the railways. And then he lives a life of uh, uh, property, of honesty and integrity. He did not engage in any form of corruption which pervaded the society at that time. In his office, he was offered a bribe at the beginning of the novel. He refused the bribe from the timber dealer. And then his wife also was against him. Why? Because he did not live the kind of life that his classmates were living. One of his classmates is Kumsum, who is a minister in Nkrumah government. And Kumsum lives a very flamboyant, exorbitant life, expensive life. And then him, the man who is uh, a fellow classmate, decides that though there was rot and decay in the society, he is going to live a life of integrity, never accepting bribe, and doesn't give bribe as well. So one of the days when he went to the office and he was offered the bribe, and he refused to collect, he came home, he told his wife about it, his wife is, is called Oyo, his wife is named, his wife has a name in the novel, his name is Oyo. And his wife began to insult him, calling him a lot of unpredictable names. And then he even called him Chichi Dodo, which refers to a, a kind of bird that do not eat uh, uh, feces, but eat uh, uh, things that like um, composite from feces. So it is a derogative name, calling the man that though he is not corrupt, but why did he, he feed on corruption? Probably what the woman get from other places that he used for the family upbringing. Uh, the man also was part of it. And then he used that to insult the man. So over the course of the novel, the man begins to question his own moral compass. As he feels tempted by the glamour of his friend, Kumsu's lifestyle. However, he never personally engage in corruption. He comes to understand the consequence of Kum Sun's uh, actions when he could topple the Ukrama government. And the soldiers force the party men like Kum Sun to flee. That it was the man that assisted Kum Sun in his escape from Ghana but the man himself emerges from the incident with a sense of both freedom and constraint. Although he has avoided Kumsu's unfortunate fate, he still must return to his own tedious, tenuous existence. Even though the man was not part of those that were chased by the, by the soldiers who toppled the government, he had a sense of freedom. But however, he did not succeed, uh, he did not become flamboyant in the uh, military regime because even the military men are also corrupt. The very day the coup took place, some of the military men also were collecting bribes. So there was an atmosphere of 
hopelessness. Hopelessness pervaded the entire novel. So the man tried to be righteous. His wife was against him. Uh, the fellow workmates were against him. It was only the teacher that gave the man a sense of succor, a sense of uh, uh, belonging, where he encourages the man to live the kind of life he's living. Now, another major character in the novel is called Oyo. Oyo is the wife of the man. Oyo is a woman of ambition. She wishes to live a flamboyant life that the wife of Kumson is living, Estella. He wish, she wishes to be like, she wishes her husband to be like Kumson and herself to be like the wife of Kumson, Estella. She covets, she desires, she aspires to live such kind of expensive, glamorous life at the expense of the masses. But you see, the husband was not such kind of a person. And as a result of that, she did not even like the husband much because she wishes the husband also collect pride, engage in dirty party politics, and then become probably one of the appointed ministers or win a particular election and then siphon money, embezzle government funds, and use it for their own personal uh, pleasure. So Oya is such a woman. And then we saw that uh, when Kumsun and Estella come to the man and Oyo's home for dinner, Oyo want to serve the finest European liquor. And is dismayed when her husband can find only local beer. She wants to feel among the elite. She wants to be part of those that are, are talked about in the society. So she wanted to give the best European liquor, most expensive one that Kumsun used to take, probably in his home. But the husband only find the very local beer. And the Oya was not so satisfied with such kind of a, uh, what the husband was able to afford. And then he, she is keenly aware of the distance between Estella's position and her own and easily adapt her speech and mannerism to convey an attitude of difference towards those of higher status. So, near the end of the novel, however, Oyo undergoes a significant change when Kumsin falls from power and comes to their house, weak and dependent. She then admits to the man that she is grateful that he did not become like Kumsin. So at the end of the novel, the end justified the means. So even though Oyo aspires to be like Estella and also wishes her husband to be like Kumso, when Kumso fall from grass, from grace to grass, and he was so dependent on the man to escape from Ghana, Oyo began to thank her husband. And then she was so grateful to herself that the husband did not engage in such dirty politics that might leave them, leave, uh, lead them as well to be running from Ghana. Now they are free. Even though the government has been toppled, they are free because they do not engage in any form of corruption that the government will be, the new government will be hunting the husband or hunting their own properties. Now let's look at another character in the novel. Kumsun is also a major character in the novel. Kumsu is a class is, is a classmate of the man. They were friend from their youth age, from a youthful period. And Kumsu engaged in politics. The man was so surprised that how can Kumsu acquire such kind of wealth and properties within a short space of time? And he was convinced that Kumso was corrupt and then the money that Kumso accrued to himself that he was able to get such kind of property were money from the government fund. So they were not kind of money that probably Kumso earned through his sweat. So we saw that uh, Kumso belonged to the upper class and then he was part of the Nkrumah government. The man was not envying him. He was only wondering how can 
also acquire such kind of money within a short space of time, if not through corruption, and embezzling money that should be used for capital project for the benefit of the masses. So we saw that comes also become symbolic of the Western influence that overtake and poison those who would lead Ghana. Teacher note that there is no difference at all between the white men and their apes, our party men, which Kumsu is one of them. Then this critique of this of this supposed leader, who only seem are uh, able to imitate the former colonial behaviors, runs throughout the novel. Now, Kumu is like one of the colonizers. The colonizers exploited the people took their properties and took it to their own western country to go and develop. You know, Britain colonized Ghana. So, the, the, the British colonial masters took the properties, the gift of nature, the sources, the resources of Ghana and they took them to their own country to go and develop their country. So, you note know something there. Why the current political leaders do not take the word to other parts. One of the things that they did was that they appropriate the word to themselves. So they did not take it to other countries to go and develop. They use it to set up their own business, live affluent life, live a very rich and uh, expensive life at the expense of the people. Just as the colonizers were taking from the people, the new political leaders independent do, do, uh, from the independent bureau we are also corrupt and uh, taking the people for granted the same suffering the people as the masses experience during the colonial period where the same suffering they are they we are experiencing during the reign of Fukuma and the democratic system of government and from the end of the novel we can also infer that there will not be any significant change because the military men were already taking five at the beginning of their government. So uh, there won't be any much difference between the, polit the democratic system of government presided by Ukruma, which Kumsu was part of, and then the government, the new military government that toppled the government of Ukruma. So we also saw that Kumsu is later humbled when his leader is deposed. And he, a loyalist, is forced into hiding. He takes refuge in the man's house, utterly pathetic and dependent on his former classmate for help. So it is only the man that could help him now. If he runs another politician, that politician is also run, running and hiding. So he has to seek succor from a man who is full of integrity, a man of integrity. Because they, the, the, the soldiers will not come to the house of the man because they know the man is a man of integrity. He does not engage in any form of corruption. And he's not even holding any government uh, position. So he knows that if he go to a fellow minister's house, that one too is under threat and is looking for a way to hide. So we saw that at the end of the novel, the man helped Kumsu escape the country. But Kumsu comes to represent for the man, the very specific way that changes in power, structures room individual life, even when new regime may not alter the country as a whole. Probably there may be little change or a little difference, but there will not be much significant difference between the military government and the democratic government of Ukruma that was toppled. Now, another major character in the novel is the teacher or teacher. The teacher is also a free man. He does not engage in corruption. He's not like Kumso. And the teacher and the man used to engage in fruitful discussion. Often time, they discuss about the hopelessness in the urban Ghanaian society. They discuss the corrupt nature of democratic government. They also discuss if there will be any form of hope in their Ghanaian society. They also discuss the colonial era and the post-independent dissolution. 
So the man is a just man, a good man who wishes good for his country. But he also overcame by the bribery and corruption that pervaded the entire country. Oh, we saw also that the man tells, the teacher tells the man a story about his past, explaining that he was once a very hopeful for the future of Ghana. In that time, he was a follower of a woman named Mana, who introduced him and his friend to a drug called We. We will discuss the character of Mana later. He later romped as a result of taking that drug We. So, Mana was the one who introduced the man and his friend to the drug called We, which they used to assess a wider perspective of the world around them. So, it became difficult to, to reconcile that vision with the brutal reality of independent Ghana. So, why did you admit to the man that he understand how or your disapprove of his piety? He also caused the man brave for sticking to his principle. Though the man also have a not good, a not so good past, but he does not engage in the form of corruption that comes from and other corrupt characters in the novel we are engaging. So another character in the novel is Estella, very proud lady, the wife of Kumsum. I can say is is very very amoral, corrupt like her husband, and does not even have any kind of regard for those who are at lesser social status in the society. For instance, he disregarded the gift given to them, the drink offered them by Oyo when they visited the man. So, Estella is Kumsum's wife, and she, like Kumsum, embodies the Ghana upper class. She, 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 she worships her status as the wife of a minister and also one of the elites in the society. Among the women in the society, she would be uh, reckoned with. So she does not recognize or respect Oyo, who is the wife of the, the man. And even though Kumsun and the man are classmates, Oyo did, uh, Estella did not regard Oyo as somebody that uh, she can relate with. Because Oyo is not part of the elite, just a wife of a righteous man. Even though Oyo herself is not uh, a woman of integrity. So, Oyo, uh, Estella was a very pompous. And then uh, she also suffered the same fate with her husband when the government was toppled. Because she was also being haunted just like her husband. Because both of them corrupted the society together. They embezzled the government fund together. So, she was also one of them. Now, Another one is Kofi Billy. Kofi Billy is a dog worker. He's a worker in the in the novel, and then he lost her leg. He lost his leg because of accident that was caused by a white man during the colonial era. So, and his there was no much care for him. No, no good uh, uh, thing. They just replaced the, the leg with a wood, a wood, uh, a leg made with wood and metal. At later, he, he was so frustrated and then he committed suicide. He died. Now, we have another one which is Sister Mana. Sister Mana was the one who introduced the teacher to the drug called We. He introduced the teacher and his friend to the drug called We. And then she took a drug a lot. And then she smoked a lot. She smoked We. She smoked We. It is marijuana. She smoked it so much that was the way of, an es of escape. She just don't want to be thinking about her suffering, the frustration, the decadence in the society, the colonial rule, the political, democratic, self-government, distraught rule. So she was more concerned about how can she escape the frustration that pervaded the entire society during Okuma rule. So she find the way of school by taking a lot of marijuana. When she took it, she does not feel much about it. She does not think or she is not go depressed until the influence of the marijuana uh, expires from his body system. So he goes mad. At the end of the novel, she ran mad. 
Then we have another co another character in the novel, which is called the conductor, the bus conductor. So you can see that the corruption in the novel is systemic. It is not exclusive to the um, to the elite alone. You see, this this just a, a bus conductor, but he is very corrupt. He has taught money from the passengers. So abusive and vulgar. He lacked integrity. He talked to the man, especially when the man was drooling in the car. He was the one insulting the man. Why are you dating my car? Uh, dating my boss? No, what is your problem? And he even wanted to bribe the man at the beginning of the novel. Because he thought the man was, was watching him when he was trying to collect money from uh, one of the passengers. So he wanted to bribe the man, but no, the man was asleep. And then he insulted the man when he discovered that the man was asleep and the man has littered or wet the bus with his saliva. So he was also a very corrupt, low class character in the novel. So it is not only the 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 major the elite in the society that we are corrupt, even those who are uh, are, 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 are in the lower class we are also corrupt very well. So uh, there are some other characters in the novel, like the Amankwa, um, the one who offered bribe to the man that the man refused. The clerk who works in the railway office also. Some of the uh, the workmate of the man, and some the military business who top the government, and some other characters. But well, I think these are the major ones. And hopefully we are going to still discuss some of the rest of the character. Now, it's already 21 minutes, uh, about to, almost 22 minutes. So uh, we will discuss some other minor characters in the subsequent video. Make sure you subscribe. Click the notification um, uh, bell so that you will get notified when the new video is uploaded. Thank you. Thank you.